right, I got a discount for you. We're talking Xbox Live. Loads of gaming discounts. All you have to do is go to my description, copy my code from the description, paste my code. Woof, it's gaming time. Yes, righto, tell you there, champs. Now, this thing here, the Creator laptop, has a new version. They gave us a sneak preview into the next version of this. And yes, indeed, I think it has the missing puzzle to the new MacBook Pro 16 sort of refresh, or even the 2020 MacBook Pros, what, what they might have in them. I'll get to that in a sec. I just want to talk about this laptop here. It's going to be the same as this current version, okay? Pretty much the same, except one thing I'll get onto in a sec. It's going to have the latest NVIDIA graphics. Nothing's going to change there, whether NVIDIA bring out new ones by the time this comes out. Who knows? And it will have up to 10th generation CPUs whenever they come out. If it comes out before the 10th generation of release, of course, it's going to have the 9th generation up to i9. Should have the same sort of battery and same sort of ports here with the Thunderbolt, you know, USB Type-C, micro SD card, etc. But... The one thing that is the missing puzzle from the new Macs this year that it will be released and the game changing thing with this thing is boom, yes, mini LED. Now there's a lot of LEDs, there's micro LED, there's mini LED. They're all slight variations of the technology but this thing looks amazing. First of all, it's going to be a 4K display. And of course, it says zero burning because it is indeed an LED display. Now, one of the things about LED displays is you get sort of like a bloom or like a halo effect around sort of lit areas next to dark areas. This mini LED should be, you know, closer to OLED. It won't be exactly like OLED. You'll still get a bit of a halo, like, you know, if you're moving your mouse around or if there's a dark scene next to a bright scene. There will be slight halo in, but mini LED has smaller LEDs. And also this display is going to have more local dimming zones. Smaller LEDs is just going to equal a better experience. But the big thing here is, look, HDR 1000. And that's what's going to happen with the new MacBook Pros. They're going to have mini LED and they're going to have, of course, 100% P3. But also they'll be HDR displays. And this is going to be a HDR display up to 1000 nits of brightness. So mini LED is real. It's coming out to this MSI laptop. It will be on other laptops as well. But the MSI is the first one I've heard about this. Cannot wait to have a look at one of these mini LED displays. And I cannot wait to see them in Macs as well. And this thing looks amazing by the way to this MSI Creator laptop it's a premium build it's sort of white sort of gray look it's not black so I love it and you know it's got the performance and power you want and MSI make good laptops they've got good thermals so this would be a creator's dream and to have a display that peaks at 1000 nits of brightness it's going to be HDR 100% P3 it's just going to be awesome 240 local dimming zones there you go 240 local dimming zones that's on this display whether or not with apple it'll be different they might have more they might have less but maybe the display or the lid bit might have to get thicker so that's one of the things too we don't know how thick the displays have to be now with this mini led hopefully it won't be any thicker but look out for mini led coming this year first one i've seen this msi MacBook Pros, I think it's the missing piece. I mean, I'm going to make a video about why I went back to the base model MacBook Pro 16. I'll make a video about that because they're going to be releasing a refresh of this MacBook Pro 16. You're going to have 10th generation CPUs. I reckon you're going to get Wi-Fi 6. I reckon you're going to get mini LED. And I expect most of those things on the 13 or 14 inch. So MSI, you've done well here. I'll catch you in the next one.